Hi everyone, this is Chuku British Jonathan. I'm reaching you from Elon Gospel Lifestyle. It is our addiction. I'll be taking on a course through the preparation of African oil beans and African salad. You know, in the last video, I promised to tell you how you can use your Uba to prepare African salad. So I'm here to keep to my promise. Um, in the last video, some commented that they were unable to see the seed that is used for the preparation of African oil beans. I don't see in the raw format. Here is the seed in the raw format. You boil it for the next for so you boil it for four hours. Then after I finish boiling it, you bring it back from the shell and it will look like something like this. You bring it out from the shell. So the next thing you do is to do what you, you it will look like this after you finish boiling it. This is the raw form. When you finish boiling it, you peel the shell. You so saw you peel you, you move the ox. This is the ox and it will look like this. So the next thing you do, you use your knife to um, cut it into tiny pieces just like this then the next thing you do is for you to steam it you steam some it, then you steam you, you steam it steam this pieces you steam it for the next um, one hour then after you finish steaming it you look for um, a place like this add water to it You soak it like this for the next 24 hours. Then when that is done, remove it from the water. Remove it from the water. And what next? You look for something like a nylon bag. Yeah. You look for something like a nylon bag. Just like this. You know, you put it inside, then you wrap it for the next 24 hours. You understand? So when the 24 hours have elapsed, you bring it out, then you package it with any um, packaging material of your choice. You can use almond leaf. This is the almond leaf. You can use your almond leaf to package it, or you can use... Um, your nylon, you can use nylon like your um, cellophane, you can wrap it inside your inside the nylon for the next 24 hours. Why must you wrap it for the next 24 hours? It will help to ease fermentation. It, is, it, is, it has been proven by research that the more fermented it becomes, the more it tastes, it tastes, it tastes um, well and also it helps to kill some chemical content that is harsh that causes you that good you understand so it's good you keep it after you finish wrapping it you keep it for the next 24 hours before you eat it or better still you can keep it for the next two days for a better result example is this one this one has been kept for the past two days just to um, ease fermentation, it has been kept for the past two days. So let's see what we got. So by now, it ought to have been soft and ready to eat. Another reason why you keep it for it to get fermented is that it's it's good. It gives it more. It makes it to be tastier and makes it to be delicious. Whenever it, and makes it to it's preferable you keep it for like two days and now for you to do to use to prepare whatever thing you want to use like yam and oil or also but in this episode i'll be taking on a course on how to use this portion to prepare african salad formerly known as abacha in our local palace so now let's start with this this um some pieces of potassium in our local palace, they call it Ikeo 
So what we are going to do now, we add a little water to it. Okay, we add a little water to it and then we have a little water to it, so you allow it to you allow it to uh, to dissolve, so you allow the Solute, I'm using chemistry stem. You allow the solute to mix with the solvent, meaning you allow the pieces of the the particle of the potassium to mix with the water. To mix with the water. And um, it's good, we maintain good hygiene cleanliness as we're about to go into the preparation in proper. So I need to wash my hand. So now back to what I was saying. So now this the mixed portion of the potassium and the water. So the next thing we do is to add oil to this part. Add your oil, oil. Mix it together. Add the red oil. Okay. Think. Oh, think this is okay. This um. Think. Is okay. Or well, you can. It it depends on you. You can measure it with your spoon, or you can um measure it. You you can you can um I, I, let me say pour it directly into whatever vest you want to use. I choose not to use the spoon because even after I fold it inside there, I think I've gotten the right um the right amount of oil that I need. But considering what I think I still need to add more I still need to add more to it. So it should be able to um, mix what with the bubble with the aperture. Okay now Okay. okay. So um, this is the so these are red oil. We all know we are all familiar to red oil gotten from palm nuts. This is red oil, and this is the mixed portion of the uh, potassium and the water. So now let's separate the residue from the filtrate. This is the filtrate, the one I'm point out. Um, the, the surface okay this okay so um, so we mix it together okay so the, you will notice a color change you notice a color change like light like orange color then you stop you know that it has mixed well so okay so the next thing you do is for you to add your grind pepper you add your grind pepper to it you add your grind pepper to it Okay, so um, the next thing, so you mix it together. And you had um, some piece of Maggi cube, preferably, let's say, um, two piece of Maggi. I preferably use star. You know, star mangi, star mangi has been existed has been existing for quite a long time, and I think it's it's good. It's okay. So add another one to give it a good taste. Season 
our food with mangy star. It has existed for a long time and it's still on board, you understand? So I recommend you use mangi. Yeah, you use star mangi here. Yeah. So okay. We will be using Tiwi Maggi Q, but this one will be used after you've mixed everything. We are about to eat it, then you add this last piece of it. So let's, let me um, so let me now. Okay. So the next thing you do is you add your Oba. You know, this one has been, has been, well, it has been wrapped two days ago. So you add it in Let's move this other one. Okay. Okay. Nice one. Now let's mix it together. We have sauce to have this to what we are doing. This salt is not added to this thing, <laughs> it means we have not started, and that's why salt is important. I think I need to use my hand to make sure it's ready. Okay, you move one, nice one. Okay, good. So, um, mix it again. Now, <coughs> sorry, having done this, the next stage is, um, having done this, the next stage is, we need to talk about our cassava, we need to, they, they call it um, abacha in our local palace, but in English it's cassava, this is gotten from cassava, you can see, you can see the, the whole form of the cassava, so what's there is that, you slice it into tiny pieces, wash it, then you, you, you boil it for two hours. When you bring it out from the water, slice it into tiny pieces just like this. And you soak it for the next 24 hours. Then you wash it, then you, then you break it into tiny pieces just like this. That will not permit me, I would have taken you on a course on how to prepare um, your cassava you know how to prepare it so from this small stage to this and finish stage but kind of permit me so let's go with this one so you understand the raw form you cut it into tiny pieces put it inside the water inside the pot add water to it boil it for the next two hours bring it out slide it into tiny pieces like this soak it inside the water for the next 24 hours Bring it out, mix it, and it will look like this. So now, having done that, I will explain that to you. The next thing to do is to the next thing to do is to take our cassava, bread cassava, bread piece of cassava. Then, sorry, then you add this portion to it. This portion to it. Or oh, better still, you can use, you can let, let's say, okay, let's use our pot.
See why I didn't add onions to it. Onions has already been used to steam the pomo, which is the um, cow heat and cat the cow skin store pomo in our local parlor. So onions had been used to steam it already. So no need for me to add additional onions to it. And um, let me take some portion of the stock from the pomo. I think that this one is okay, so mix it together. So the next stage now is to heat it. Now the reason why we ought to heat it is to you know neutralize the power of the salt and also to heat the opaca. Now be careful for two days. You know it helps to let me say keep some bacteria as you understand so now um let's go and heat it okay now we need to heat it the heating for it, the heating process does not take much time it's just a matter of let's say 10 to 15 minutes then we are so won't take much time just want to make it hot and to kill any um bacteria that might have been formed in the opaca haven't been kept for the past two days you understand so that's why it's good to heat it it's good to eat it so let's leave it um that's why it's good to eat, eat it you understand so Okay. Hey God, I made a mistake. I think let's go with this. So be no problem. So we'll allow it, we'll leave it for some time. Okay. One, two, three, four, ten, twenty, thirty. 100, 130, 150, 360, go! So, like I said, it won't take much time. So, the next thing we do is to um, off the fire. You understand? As this now, it's ready and it's, it's ready for consumption. So, <clears throat> it's ready for consumption. So these are plates. Serve it. Serve from it. Okay. Oh my God! It got burnt. <laughs> okay. I uh, think I need to be careful. Uh, serve from it. Okay. Okay, like this so um it gets so as it is now it's ready for consumption so this is how you can prepare 
African oil beans and abacha, which is cassava, um, which is boiled, that which is boiled cassava. So um, I like you to stay tuned to get for for um, for you to be updated and also for you to subscribe to my channel to get daily updates on our channel. I'll be updating my channel with um, educational information, more on kitchen, spiritual information, I which I call a which is pigeon gospel, and lastly, it's um adventure. You know, I, I you know going around Nigeria, visiting places and the other So this is the, this is the beginning of the first niche, which is. Um, 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 which is in, which is um, okay, which is traditional kitchen. So in the next video, I will show you uh, in the next video under the preparation of African on uh, under traditional kitchen. I I will show you how to prepare okwa. Thanks for listening to me and God bless you. Bye.